Many people saved there. Wow, Chris, thank you for that. Picking up our team coverage, WCNC Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw. She's live along the Little Sugar Creek in uh, Dilworth. And Billie Jean, that area often prone for, uh, prone for flooding, and I'm hearing that the water level is so high, it just set a new record there. Good morning, Ben. We're actually in Midtown near the park, and I just want to give you a look at what is supposed to be an area you can walk through with your dog, with your family, and you can see now it looks like a river. This is Little Sugar Creek, and you're right, Ben. Record-breaking high right now. We're just learning that this is the highest the creek has been since 1997. At last check, it measured a depth of over 15 feet. And just to give you more context, it has gone down in the last hour or so, but but that doesn't mean much because you can still see that is high. And I also want to bring you to the attention of all of the debris that we just see floating along the creek right now. Basketball, a, a, a bottle of oil, a bottle of Powerade right there. You can see it's just moving rapidly as that water continues to crash along the side of the bridge here. Then I'm going to walk you over here to give you a better idea of what we mean when we say stay home if you can. OK, take a look at this. These are steps that are supposed to be leading through the walkway, through the park for you to enjoy yourself. But as you can see, this is where we have to stop because this is no longer a park that you can enjoy. This is now a river. So again, we are just urging everyone to stay home if you can. We saw a couple of people out here um, coming by and taking pictures. They were staying a safe distance away. But guys, I would not recommend for you to come anywhere near this water because things are changing rapidly. But if you do look over here near the roadway, everything's clear that way, but you just want to continue to stay safe. Ben and Carolyn, I'll send it back to you.